Hey, what's happening? Social Little Man here uh, with Take Two. Thanks for uh, joining me a few minutes ago, but we were having some uh, lag issues here in Kansas City. Those on the podcast and also watching this on YouTube and in the future didn't get to experience the real life of what we got with live video and how things can go a little goofy. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for joining me. Also, uh, thanks for all you've been uh, kind of uh, enjoying these, and I've been having a lot of fun with them too, uh, these Facebook Lives we've been doing. Uh, and this last week, we went on the road with it for two weeks in San Antonio uh, two weeks ago, and then last week in, um, in Lexington, Kentucky. That's where I just was yesterday. So just getting back now, back into Kansas City offices here in the famous Raytown, Missouri uh, of Kansas City. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining. I'm a little skeptical right now on the on the lag time. I did a little bit of a maneuvering and jerry-rigging to get this thing going. So we're going to get into, uh, if you give me 10 minutes, I'm going to tell you the creepiest things that I've been seeing uh, salespeople and others based off of uh, uh, a, uh, uh, an article, excuse me, on uh, Gizmodo uh, that came out uh, last year. Talking about things that are that get done that are creepy on Facebook, you know. And this is uh, specifically salespeople that are using Facebook and trying to use it for as a, a new pipeline or a place as your own personal CRM. This is what I do. I got caught up last week. I was I was having dinner with uh, some friends in Lexington, some new friends, and uh, I sent a friend request to because uh, I just get so Facebook uh, excited. I meet somebody new and they seem really excited, really you know uh, unique and 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 pretty awesome. Um, I sent him a friend request way too fast. So I had to wait a little bit, and uh, finally, I'm in a conversation. Like, yeah, he sent me that. I'm like, sorry, this is what I do, man. This is what I do. So we're going to talk about the previous things that uh, that you can do, and that mostly a lot of salespeople are doing on Facebook now that Facebook is becoming this vast communication aspect that people can use to communicate back and forth. So everybody likes the word creepy, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to hit you guys hardcore today. This is this is a male female thing. This isn't just a, a male thing, even though we kind of get the uh, the brunt of the stick when it comes to uh, being creepy. It's true. We do. Uh, it's my biggest fear in life is to come across as creepy ever uh, because I think I just have that look, you know, big guy, creepy glasses, creepy beard. Uh, oh, Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> so Arnold, it would, uh, we were going to do that. But here's the thing with Arnold. Arnold's in, I'm sorry, with the, those who listen to the podcast and also on YouTube in the future, Arnold uh, piping in because he's on every one of these uh, lives. Arnold uh, just got caught up. You know, it could be on these things. I'm telling you what, I see you like 75 times a year, and we're going to make this happen. We're going to have Arnold here on here, and we're going to be talking about storytelling with Arnold. Arnold's going to uh, tell us about his uh, strategy for storytelling. But today, it's creepy. One of the creepiest things you can do is hijack a Facebook Live with a random uh, comment that has to do personally with the host and also with yourself, and um, almost everyone uh, is creepy. And I'm just kidding, Arnold. That's not creepy. But uh, first thing you can do, let's look and see what you're doing with, uh, with Facebook. I, I will tell you, and this, some of these are my own opinion, and I'd like to get the opinion of the, uh, the crowd or the, uh, all, uh, all of you that are watching on the Facebook Live, or even if you're listening to podcasts, put your in the comments. But um, posting pictures of yourself with no explanation. Um, we're just going to get that one out of the way. Just posting a picture of yourself. I don't mind if you are uh, taking a selfie because I'm, I'm all about the selfie train. Keep the selfie train going. If it makes you feel good, do it. But let's put a little bit of uh, how you're feeling at the time. Uh, did you know the smartest mammal in the world is Donald Trump's hair? Look at Richard Lucy just coming. Richard Lucy just coming in and just hijacking the feed. Good job, Richard. Thanks for uh, coming in on the on the feed. Um, uh, if Arnold is on almost every Facebook Live. Uh, the, if you want to follow the Facebook Live, watch the Facebook Live, just head over to Facebook.com forward slash social little man and we can join. So let's talk about creepy. Here it is. Um, number two, and this is salespeople because you don't know what you don't know, right? Sales, you don't know what you don't know. You've just been told, hey, Facebook is this big place that you can start. You can meet your customers. You can, you can, uh, you know, uh, conquest, do whatever you want on there. You can find, uh, people, connect with them, blah, blah, blah. Putting Joey Little stickers on urinals is what Brad Powell says. Uh, that's true. That is true. But posting selfies with no explanation. Let's get over that. Let's do that. Just telling everybody how you feel if you're going to post them out there. But most of what we're going to talk about today about being creepy is how you interact with other people. And there's a few things in here that I think are funny. There are a few things in here that Micah Burkholz, who's also in the industry, um, uh, he does. And I think it's one of the funniest things out there. But if you do it uh, legitimately, it is creepy. And we're going to get to that in just a second. It's called Burkholz and somebody. All right. All right. Commenting. Actually, let's jump into it right now. Commenting on a photo or a post from years ago is creepy. It is absolutely, you know what? And I've done that. I haven't done it maliciously. I've done it to screw with people. You can ask Bobby Heron. Uh, 
uh, and, and you can, I've done it to her. It really, what happens here is if you've got a funny picture of yourself or something that's from the past that you posted six years ago, four years ago, five, whatever it is, it's still there. People can go. In fact, if you want to do that, you can do it right now. Um, just go to your friend's old post and write a comment on it. And what's going to happen is that actually will go into the news feed for people that you're both connected to on Facebook. So uh, I'm going to go over to comment on every photo that's over three years old of Joyce. Have fun with doing that. It's, it just shows up again. Um, you wouldn't make someone a crappy cake and expect them to care. That's what Andrew Myers is coming in. But you can do that. You can. But if you're going to do this, if you're a salesperson, you're yeah. Joey Little teaches us how to be creepy. Hey, <laughs> what can I say? Um, don't do this with people you don't know. I know Bobby. I love Bobby to death. Bobby's, uh, you know, been a client of mine. Also, uh, I've done it to Sherry. Sherry just popped in. It's just funny. If you do it to somebody that knows you and knows your personality, then it's funny. It can be annoying because then other, what I did to Bobby was Bobby, uh, Bobby had a dark hair at the time and she apparently four years earlier had made her hair blonde. I went in and found that picture from like four years ago and I wrote, oh my God, looks great, congratulations. And it showed up in the uh, newsfeed and everybody thought that Bobby got blonde hair again and it just kind of went, and Bobby understood. So, um, but yeah, there's a few in here that I think are funny, but if you're a salesperson, you're trying to network really well, don't do them. And that's one. Number one, don't comment, uh, Joey, you are a creeper. Oh, that hurts me. That hurts me deep inside. I don't want to be a creeper. It's such a dirty word nowadays, right? Also, commenting on life events that you had no part in. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Life events that you've had no part in. That can, uh, that can get you, uh, that can get you looked at a little side eye there. You know, an example that I see if somebody graduated from high school and somebody goes in there and puts them, you know, uh, puts that they graduated from high school back in 19, you know, 98, uh, then you put in there, congratulations. <laughs> I think it's funny, but it's creepy. It's creepy as hell. It just is, uh, especially on the day they were born. So if they put a life event in there that their birthday is on February 6th, right? And then you go in there later on and say, you know, something like, oh, cool. Wish I could have been there. <laughs> That's just creepy. I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. But you have to do it with people that you know. You just can't do it as a salesperson. If you're trying to be funny, here's the thing. If you're trying to be funny and you don't know the person, uh, it doesn't come across as funny. you got to know the person before you do something like this, all right? Another thing is, here's another thing. Salespeople, sales guys, I'm going to call you guys out right now. If you don't know the person and you're connected to them on a business level, whether they bought a car from you or, or something, um, don't request somebody's relationship status, uh, just don't do that. Don't, if they don't have it listed, you have the time now that you can go into the relationship status and you can request it. You can ask them what the relationship status is. No, 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 no. I don't care if you're trying to ask them to see if they're married because they're going to have, you know, a co or they're going to be buying it. No, 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 no. Uh, what did he say? Did you know Arnold said uh, he worked at Auto Booth at Kane's event, even though they did not know or approve the earliest, easiest sale ever? It is. Yeah. Uh, let's get back to this. Don't don't request uh, relationship status from people you don't know, and don't request relationship status from people you do know. Don't do that. Not good. Uh, Herschel says, is, I use Facebook to uh, build rapport all the time and find out if we have mutual friends. Absolutely, which is very common, and use that to close the deal somehow. It's an art of the deal uh, to develop over time. That's absolutely, that's how you do it. That's a good way to do it, too. Mutual friends is a great way. Also, I don't care how much you're trying to get for your... Uh, <laughs> Richard Lucy just came in, and I just got an alert, just said uh, he just requested my address. <laughs> Oh, uh, see, that's funny. But if you do that to you, some of you don't know, yeah. Kenny Linder says, my relationship status is married. Uh, this is a great Facebook Live coming to, what does it say, the Golden Goose? Is that what you're talking about, Arnold? No, that's a, that's a relationship uh, thing we were talking about. Golden Unicorn. It's Golden Unicorn. <laughs> um, but let's focus back on this. I love this. I love. It. I feel like I'm driving the bus down the road, and I got some of you guys. You got like we're having a conversation. Then I get the I get the wonderful people like Lizelle, and I get Arnold in here, and they just reach up and grab that you know that that um, steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, golden unicorn is what I was talking about. All right, here's a big one. You ready for this one? This is more. This is salespeople. Salespeople, you have to stop doing this. 
if you're watching this, if you know salespeople, send them this video and mark the time that is it right now because I'm going to tell you right now to stop doing this. Here it comes. But first, reading a comment from Alan Ward in the Facebook Live. Here's something absolutely stupid actually happened yesterday. A salesperson does a service walk, asked to confirm the oil change in your interval is 7,000 miles. As a salesperson, oh, I can't see the rest of that, Alan. I can only see so much. Oh, as a salesperson, you should know your vehicle and review the service intervals of the guests and delivery. What's going on, Alan? Alan just kind of taking over too. That's awesome. Oh, no, but, but seriously, uh, the next one. Do not friend friends and family of the person that you've recently, let's say you, you've sold somebody a car or you're working a deal and you're selling them a car and somehow, some way you become friends on Facebook because you ask. You can't ask. Hey, listen, I'd like to see, you know, let's uh, be friends on Facebook. Plus, do you have any, uh, do you have any uh, referrals that you can, you know, set me up with? It'd be great. You can just send them, a, send them a link to my Facebook or hook us up that way we can communicate. But here's what you don't do. Don't do it yourself. Don't go into the Facebook profile, the person or the customer that you just sold to or, or just selling to uh, later on. And do not friend their grandma. Do not friend their mom and dad. Don't friend their brothers and sisters and everybody else that they're related to. Don't do that. Don't. You think it's okay and we're told to be hardcore, right? It's the difference. It's the difference of just being old school and being new school. You got to work it. You got to work the relationship, right? You you send in friend requests all, all, all the time. Uh, you're going to get nailed, right? You're going to get nailed. You're, you're, you're creepy as hell, especially grandmas, man. Why do you need friends with grandmas? You don't need to be friends with grandmas. You don't need to. Um, you don't have to. Uh, there's no reason you're not going to sell her a car by just jumping in that. Arnold says she does that with Lizelle's uh, network. This is for all salespeople out there, I especially. I see Brian O'Connor's jumping in, not him, but we're talking about uh, financial advisors. That was a big one that I heard. Financial advisors will be friends with somebody on Facebook, and then they uh, do you send them a little, little T-shirt as well as a thank you gift? I do not, Alan, but that was cool. I know grandma needs a car, but let's talk about in financial office because uh, somebody who's working on retirement age people and trying to, you know, as financial uh, advisor. And the first thing they do is they're friending my grandma. They're looking up, you know, who I'm related to because you can connect yourself on Facebook. And then I'm getting a phone call from my grandma going, oh my God, who's so-and-so because he sent me a friend request. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, that's the guy that pitched me uh, retirement. Yep. He wants to talk to you, grandma. <laughs> don't send her a friend request. Come on. Uh, let's see. Grandma needs to buy a car too, Brad. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Here's another thing that just makes you creepy on Facebook. Don't tag people in something you don't need to tag them in. We talked about this earlier. Don't tag them in something you don't need to tag them in. There's nothing, no, no reason at all. You should be tagging people and stuff. You shouldn't be tagging them in if they have nothing to do with it. I just put something, I put up Kenny's, uh, Kenny Landrum and I had a conversation on a Facebook live last week. Uh, in fact, it was a couple days ago. I, this is the same week. I'm so screwed up when, when I, when I do when I fly, but, um, and then I, I posted the video on Facebook. I took, you know, ripped the video off of uh, Facebook and put it on YouTube. And then I, I actually put it back on Facebook and, and I tagged the people that, that came up in conversation with Kenny and I. So, um, Ellen says, uh, what if you're just trying to get a Thanksgiving plate? Hashtag grandma's feed everyone. Uh, not true. Um, leave my grandma alone when it comes to Thanksgiving. We'll all be good. All right. But, but you don't need to tag people in things just to expand your reach. It's happening quite a bit. I used to do it. I'm guilty for it. But just, just tagging people just because they have a large reach on, on Facebook is, uh, is, is really unprofessional. Uh, it should be stopped. Uh, but you know, you can stop it yourself. You can untag yourself. Uh, here's the thing. I don't mind if I know the person, if I know the person very well, if we've got a good professional relationship with it, I'm not, I have no problem really with that. I mean, I'm kind of like, Hey bro, just give me a heads up or Hey lady, just give me a heads up. You know, that you want to start doing this because I get irritated too, just as much as you when ping, 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 ping goes off when people are, uh, are posting on, on whatever it is. Uh, number two, if, if I don't know you serial tagging, that's what Ke Kevin Campbell's calling it serial tagging. That's great. I like that. Um, if I don't know the person I've been tagging things before, I don't even know the person. Uh, and, and that's what drives me crazy. I'll send them a message and I'll ask them. Uh, and it's, sometimes it's uncomfortable asking the question like, dude, why are you tagging me in this? I do. It's for me. And this is where I'm guilty for too. If I have any events that are happening back in my hometown, which is about 90 miles away, uh, I will tag, uh, leaders back in my hometown and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So I'm guilty of it too. And I'm stopping to do it. I just got to realize my, my reach has got to be my reach. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, the creepiest things that you can do on Facebook requesting, um, statuses. 
um, or requesting somebody to go like and comment on your status or sharing your status through Messenger. Through Messenger. You ever seen these before? Hey, go like my status I just put on Facebook. You get a message like on Facebook? Creepy. Usually it's somebody who copy and paste about 1,600 people as much as they can until Facebook shuts them down. Let's not do that too. Let's keep it organic. Let's have fun with it. You want to get a really good reach on Facebook, have a Facebook page, and then spend some money and put it behind it. If you're trying to use your friends and family uh, to do that, uh, then uh, you need to change your, because Facebook's becoming smarter and smarter and smarter, and, and that's where we're at. So um, I gave you, that's my 10 minutes. Uh, we can continue on a little bit if you want. Anybody else has any things that make uh, people uh, creepy on Facebook? Uh, but yeah, Chris says all this because Brad tagged you in my Instagram post yesterday. He is kind of a creeper. Absolutely. That is why I'm talking about this, Chris, is that I did get tagged in your Instagram post yesterday. So, but I will tell you, uh, when you're using Facebook as uh, professionally, do it the same as you would use it personally. Treat the people with respect that, are, that, that have agreed to let you into their world because Facebook is their world. Facebook is uh, somebody allowing you to be friends with them on Facebook allows you uh, inside their home, inside their, their life. So, oh, great, con- oh, Sally coming in with the, with the big high five saying, I think it's creepy when people poke other people on Facebook. Now, can we all agree, can we all agree, and if I can get some thumbs ups and hearts or whatever, I don't care, you can get an angry face or anything, just so I know that you're paying attention and that you agree with me. And I'm gonna be very, very blunt. When somebody pokes you on Facebook, th- that pretty much means you think they want to do you sexually. True or false? If somebody po- a poke on Facebook makes you think, uh, is this person trying to do me? Does anybody agree? There we go. There I'm seeing them. There I'm seeing them. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Sherry says, I'm a poker. Here's the thing, Sherry. You're poking people, but we think you're trying, you're trying to hook up. We think, oh my God, Sherry, right? If we all agree that poking on Facebook, let's all poke Joey Little. <laughs> Pokers do not dare poke me. Good one, Sally, good one. Ellen says false, ew. I'm just telling you what the, what, what the, I was listening to a consultant years ago in 2011, I was listening to a consultant. I know you poke him back and sh- Sherry, I know you do the poke wars. I've heard about the poke wars, excuse me. So move the microphone here, but I know you do the poke wars, but if the girlfriends know, they know it's a poke war, but other people are kind of like uh, never talking about Pokemon again. No, no, different poke. Especially if you barely know the person. So this, this consultant said to use Facebook in a good way when you're trying to network and, and do, be yourself is when you friend people on, on Facebook, you should poke at least 50 people a day. A, a day. These are people that you just are networking with. But I'm going to tell you right now, the majority of people that, and I'm going to get off here and I'm going to have like 700 pokes. I know it's going to happen. The majority of people think if they don't really know you that well, if you poke them, it means you're trying to start up a little bit of a, you know what I mean? So salespeople, don't poke people. Don't. It doesn't, it doesn't get their attention. Jared just poked me. I appreciate it. Now, Jared, I think that you want to do me. Um, Richard says, just like Wilt Chamberlain. Yes, just like Wilt Chamberlain. So much poking going on. Let's stop the pokes. The pokes are not good. Doesn't poking ensure you continue to show up in their feed? Uh, not necessarily, Kevin. Facebook really hasn't released that. Uh, but poking is just a, a, it's a bad practice. Now, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, this moment on, if I get poked, I'm going to assume that you want to wrestle with me uh, in a fancy way. My brother popping in. Lance, what's up? All the way from, uh, from uh, Oregon. Uh, I'm jealous for Lizelle. He just says, mm. Facebook edit says you only poke certain people. That consultant must be awkward. It was said. But it was back in 2011, too. That was five years ago. Anybody else uh, have any things um, that's going on? Uh, is it Arnold? It's okay, Arnold. You're my number one. I love the, the conversations that go on uh, throughout. So let's just uh, backtrack. Don't like posts from the past, from person. Don't go and they think it's funny. Not a customer. Don't go back and look at pictures in the back of the day. Here's another thing, guys. If you're friends with a lady on Facebook and you just become a friend with a lady on Facebook, don't make it the first place that you go is to their photo album looking for Beach Vacation 2014. Because if you're in there swiping through those pictures, you may like something on accident. You may hit the like button on accident. Speaking from a friend or as a friend, don't do it. 
don't do it, you perverted. That's not what Facebook is built for, even though that may be what you think it's for, but don't do that. Or don't like your photos with Sally saying photo from 2008. I'm going to do it, Sally, because I know you and I think it's funny because it shows back up in your newsfeed again and people think whatever, whatever. Um, can you repost? Uh, can you repost the pictures from back in the day? Yeah, sure. Why not? A little throwback Thursday. So that is today's uh, conversation um, about how uh, we went over 10 minutes, but it's cool. I had a great time. Uh, looking forward to next week. I'm here in Kansas City for a long time. Chris says he uh, likes Brad's uh, beach pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Lance says, I don't friend customers. Just stalked in to see what you have in common to talk about. Uh, my little brother, Lance, you want to talk about just a complete, uh, he's the uh, millennial in the family and he's the least uh, social media friendly. And I'm the old man in the family. And I have a logo that says that I know a lot about this stuff. So we have a big switcheroo. Plus he sells Chevys up there in uh, Portland. So if you need a, uh, a Chevy vehicle or a vehicle in Portland, Oregon, make sure you see Lance Nolte over at uh, Tonkin Chevrolet in uh, Portland, Oregon. Uh, great deals. Uh, a lot of inventory and uh, good guy. So, by the way, everybody that's in the automotive industry, make sure you send Lance Nolte a friend request. Uh, so, have a great day, everybody. I had a good time. Uh, thanks for checking us out. If you're listening to the podcast, remember you go to facebook.com forward slash social little man. I'm all the interwebs, Twitter, uh, iTunes, uh, Google Play, uh, wherever it's at, because I love listening to myself talk. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and keep smiling, all right?